Hello guys, my name is Ukraine. Today, we are going to discuss the health belief model. The health belief model was developed in the early 1950s by social scientists at the US Public Health Service in order to understand the failure of the people to adopt disease prevention strategies or screening tests for the early detection of disease. The health belief model suggests that a person's belief in a personal threat of an illness or disease together with a person's belief in the effectiveness of the recommended health behavior or action will predict the likelihood the person will adopt the behavior. The health belief model derives from psychological and behavioral theory with the foundation that the two components of health-related behaviors are, first, the desire to avoid illness or conversely get well if already ill, and second, the belief that a specific health action will prevent or cure illness. Ultimately, an individual's course of action often depends on the person's perception of the benefits and barriers related to health behavior. There are six constructs of the health belief model. The first four constructs were developed as the original tenet of the health belief model. The last two were added as a research about the health belief model evolved. First in line is the perceived susceptibility. Perceived susceptibility refers to the individual subjective perception of the risk acquiring an illness or disease. An example of this is when a person was exposed to other person with an illness, he or she might think that he or she is more vulnerable in getting the disease. Second, perceived severity. Perceived severity refers to an individual's feelings on the seriousness of contracting an illness. An example of this is how the fluctuation in numbers of cases of a certain illness may affect the general public's perception on its severity. Third, perceived benefits. Perceived benefits refers to an individual's perception of an effectiveness of a various actions to reduce threat of an illness or cure an illness. An example of this is the promotion and application of preventive measures in order to avoid being infected by a disease or an illness. Fourth, perceived barriers. Perceived barriers refers to an individual's feelings on obstacles in performing recommended health actions. An example of this is how factors such as inconvenience, costs, lifestyle changes, and other factors would affect a person's perception. Fifth, cue to action. Cue to action refers to the stimulus needed to trigger an action on the obstacles to performing recommended health standards. An example of this is the triggering effect of a personal experiences of symptoms or if not, an illness of a family member. The sixth one is self-efficacy. Self-efficacy refers to the level of an individual's confidence in his or her own ability to successfully perform a behavior. An example of this is when a person who has a healthy lifestyle feels confident about facing daily activities amidst prevalence of a certain illness. Now, here are the key takeaways of the lesson. Health belief model is one of the most widely used models for understanding health behaviors. It was developed in 1950s by social scientists at the US Public Health Service. Health belief model is used to explain and predict individual changes in health behaviors, and it has six constructs, which are the following, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, perceived benefits, perceived barriers, cue to action, and lastly, self-epicacy. If you want to follow the references of this lesson, you can follow them using this link and using MomJP's handouts. Again, this is Ukraine. See you in the next one. Thank you.